Hello everybody, today we have the Osu Sleep 2023 Halloween event. It was updated this morning. I logged in immediately and got this new login screen. Very cool. And I'm gonna jump right into the content. But before we do that though, I do want to bring attention to um, the RuneScape 3 community. This is uh, the other community of, of RuneScapers. Um, remember, we all came from this community as well, and they've been uh, they've been having quite a few meltdowns lately. L last month it was a Hero Pass. Uh, now these few days and weeks, their Halloween event was apparently pay to win or like impossible to grind out. Um, just, uh, I just wanted to really highlight you know their plea for help because we're in the same community, and honestly, if their game you know, goes down or like if yeah if, if their game dies then also Moonscape is probably going to be next on the chopping block um, for all the bad monetization stuff so you know go over there check it out give them some, give them some support uh, because their event compared to ours is pretty bad right now but anyways let's get back to it so this year's event is a rerun of last year's which is completely okay where you go trick-or-treating and uh, get treats to fill this cauldron. The more treats you get in this cauldron, the the more rewards you'll get, and there will be giant cauldrons that spawn around Gelnor that you can go and loot for more stuff. And the rewards are costumes and old um, tradable costumes, such as Halloween masks and pumpkins. Uh, so there's you talk to the, um, the costume kid here to kind of learn about what the cauldron is, where it came from, and how to play this minigame. And basically, it's the, the thing I want to point out is that all the rewards are super affordable. If you look at the chart here, you will see that it only takes 720 treats to get all the rewards, and this can be done in literally 5 to 20 minutes. So how do you get trick and treat uh, treats? Well, there's a couple ways. You can go and trick or treat the various NPCs around Gallimore to get trees, but you can also get it from skilling and Specifically, you can get it from Crash Stars. This is huge! I've been AFK mining Shooting Stars for the past months or so, and it's a true AFK, as in I, I have a full-time job, I'm doing my work, and I only log in to go to the next star. Uh, and just really quickly, you can see here, uh, I've gathered 310k Stardust. I'm almost 99 mining too. And as you mine, you see the message here. You can get treats from just doing stuff like wood cutting and mining. And mining is super AFK, so I this event I'm gonna have a super amount of treats. You do need to wear costumes, three piece I believe, to do the trick or treating. But all the previous rewards have been given to you for free. So I got this reward from last year I think, and I don't even remember getting it. But let's go to Lumbridge and start trick or treating. And look at the scenery, it's so awesome. I'm gonna start with the Lumbridge guide, you talk with him, and uh, you can space bars with this, <laughs> because I don't think it really talks about anything important. But uh, certain NPCs like the guy gives you 100 points versus like 0 or 5 points from other NPCs. And really, it's not worth it, in my opinion, to trick or treat the other NPCs unless you just feel like doing it for fun. Because if you want actual huge amount of treats, you should just go skill. And that is the point of this event, I think. It's just that you can continue doing whatever you do to get points. Or trees. So here, here, so here we go. We have a hundred trees. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna deposit the trees in the cauldron, add into this the total pool, uh, to the cauldron so that when it does spawn it randomly, everyone will get better rewards. I do get a a web, and I think uh, that was only 80 points. So the next reward is something else for like 160. But yeah, I wear it and uh, let's go find some shooting stars. And uh, as I mentioned in my previous previous video, and also in my uh, description, there is a free to play. Uh, shooting star on Discord now as well, which is really nice for finding stars. So yeah, oh well, yeah, and this event is not locked to pay to play. Um, free to play players can do it just as fast and can finish it just as fast. So I, I'm gonna go to the Discord uh, and they they have a, a FC as well where you can uh, see where the next star is, uh, and it, apparently it's in upgrade mine. So let's head over there and hop to the correct world and start getting. Treats. If you are really ambitious, you can log into multiple accounts if you have extra phones or your computer can open multiple room like clients and have all of them gather the trick or treat treats. This way, you can fill up the cauldron faster and uh, just give more Halloween or holiday spirit to the entire game, right? So here, I'm gonna log in 
with my other accounts um, on the same spot. The star is almost dead though, but it's okay. As you can see in the um, in the bottom left in the chat screen, I'm already starting to get more treats, and it's pretty fast. I already got two. Uh, oh, here, well, here we go. I'm gonna uh, go to my phones now and have my phones go mine as well. Uh, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, again, go support your R3 brothers and uh, go mine some rocks or chop some trees for some trees and just you know have fun, have a happy Halloween. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.